In this video, I want to quickly show you how you can export scenes in Character Animator to video files so that you can use them in editing programs such as Premiere Pro or anything that you have. For that, you're going to need a few things. Obviously, you're going to need Character Animator. And in order to have Character Animator, you need to have an active subscription of Creative Cloud. If you have Creative Cloud, that also means that you have access to tools such as uh, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Media Encoder, which is really important for this. I'm going to show you the first option, which I guess is the easiest option, and that is only for Premiere and After Effects users. All that you have to do is make sure that you saved uh, your character animator project, and then you have to go to Premiere Pro. In my case, I have an open project which is ready to start working. And all that you have to do is import the character animator project to Premiere Pro, which is very easy. I'm going to File, Import. Here you're going to select your character animator project. Then it's going to show you this window where you're going to select the individual scene that you want to import. In my case, I'm going to select this one and you're going to press OK. And here you go. It's going to show you the scene as a footage, which you can drag to your sequence and you can start working. Here we go. And there you have it. You have the scene ready to work. Now, the problem with this is that the computer is going to render your character animator scene in real time, which is going to require a lot of processing power. I don't recommend this option too much. For me, the best option is the option number two, which is this one. Let's go to Character Animator. You're going to select your scene that you want exported. Then let's go to File, Export. Then you're going to select Video via Adobe Media Encoder. Then it is going to open this window where you're going to select uh, the location of the file. You're going to press Save. And then it is going to open Adobe Media Encoder. This is Media Encoder. Here we can see a few things. We have the format of the video, the preset, and then the output file, which we previously selected, where the computer is going to leave the exported file. For some reason, the default setting is this preset right here, which is called Match Source High Bitrate. I recommend that you change these settings because it is going to leave you with a low quality video file, which is not really good. If you want to make things like zoom ins, you're going to see a lot of uh, pixeling in your footage. And also for some reason, it tends to shift colors, which is something that I don't want. So let's change these settings. I'm going to uh, click here where the uh, name of the preset is and it is going to open this window right here. The settings that I recommend you to select are these. Uh, in Format, you're going to select QuickTime, and in Preset, you're going to select Apple ProRes 422. And ProRes 422 is a very high quality file, which is really great for video editors, and your computer is gonna love it because it doesn't require a lot of processing power. So we're gonna press OK. And then we're going to press here in the uh, green triangle. It is going to export the zine as a video. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro. And here I'm going to import my video file. So let's go to File, Import. This is the file that I just got. I'm going to import in Premiere Pro. And then you can just drag it to your uh, sequence. And if you have your settings right in your sequence, you can see here that I don't have a line either a red line or a yellow line, which means that my computer is reading this file as a native file, which is great because it doesn't require any rendering. So those are my recommendations for exporting character animator scenes as video files. If you think this video helped, please write it down in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.